In the uh, traditional teachings of our Dene, and we were told about our ancient people, Danekizazayan is what we, they were called. And the uh, early history of our Dene is that the most important thing to the early Dene has always been family, or Ke is the way we refer to it. And all of the different groups of Dene, they were groups because they were divided by clan, clan groups and clan families. And each of those clan families, they had their first man and their first woman, which was very important to, to each of the clan families. And uh, any dispute between cl clan groups and that were resolved by the clan leaders. And the uh, way that our Dene governed one another, or uh, governed amongst themselves, was through the uh, clan system, or based on ke, because it was that the uh, various clans uh, married into each other's clan system, and so everyone was related to one another in some way. And as I've mentioned many times, you know, there were over 147 different clan families. And yes, the Dene came from the East. Ha-a-te-go-e-da-da-ha-si-tli is what they say in the traditional teaching. And also in some of the other traditional ways that our people used to tell the story, a very important time period and identifying the time periods and that and when they were making some reference to some incident in the history of our Dene, they would say such thing as which is before there were people that called themselves Anasaza, and then there was a time when Anasaza konal deheta. That's when there was Anasaza here among us. And Anasaza destineta is another way that they would say after the and then Anasaza or Anasazi people destroyed themselves. So we can always make reference to the idea that the Dene have been here a long time. And we always give it the identification time of 2,000 years based on traditional teachings when they say, which is 19 generations ago. And uh, the older than that, when they would tell the stories and that, they would always give it some kind of a time period. But they don't do that anymore. That's kind of something that our people have not gotten down as they should have. And so it is when we talk about the way that the Dene governed their clan systems and that a lot of that information is is not available anymore it's not even in print and so we talk about the way that the Dene had the principal chiefs the principal chiefs there were 12 of them now Kitata Hasui is what they referred to them as and they were six war chief and six peace chief the peace chief were the ones that uh, they referred to which was the peace chief, and then Napahyeni, and they would sometimes refer to the the uh, war chief as Bahi, and so there's a name among our people even to this day, it's Bahi, or Bahi, and that's the uh, the warrior chief's names and that the the way that they were referred to, but Hashtayedani, uh, which is the peace chief. And there were six of those. Now we have to understand that when our people were being held prisoners of war at Fort Sumner from 1864 to 1868, before the peace treaty was signed, that uh, many of those uh, war chief and peace chief surrendered with their people and remained with the Dene while they were being held captives. And during that time, they were there, and along with all of their, their clan families and all of the people that they were leaders to. And that's something that's very important to understand, because when it came time to sign the peace treaty in 1868, the military people said, give us 10 people to come up here and put their X by their name or put their thumbprint by their name as they uh, approved this treaty. And so it was that the Dene 
leaders and that they said no we don't want the this 10 we want the 12 we want the six peace chief and we want the six war chiefs and that to sign the paper and so that's how it happened so even that particular portion of teaching around that time is forgotten so the uh, thing that I would encourage our young people to understand is that uh, the the ne were a peaceful people in many, many, many incidents and ways and that they were the peacemakers and they understood that uh, to grow in greater awareness and uh, to have joy, happiness and confidence and peace in your life and uh, you had to be able to uh, live in a society that was at peace with all of the other people. And I mentioned the Anasaza, they tolerated the Anasaza and they purchased slaves from the Anasaza and then as they purchased the slaves they would set them free and this was all based on the teachings of Hashteh Be'atni that is to be aware of having a peaceful existence with all of the people in the area and when we talk about the many people that became the Neh all of the Neh that, that the, our people came in contact with and people that became the Neh are many and so when sometimes people don't believe and understand that uh, there is a group of people that we refer to as uh, the, the cliff dwellers, uh, Tajikin, there was many of them. And they became the Neh. And they are, they had, as far as the traditional stories of our people, they were not a Nasaza and they were not a, what we would call the Dekisani. And uh, a Yakini was what they were called originally. And so the teachings of our people are many. And we always have to help each other to recall these things and to recall the teachings that we were given. The teachings of the war chief and the peace chief are still available. And I would encourage our Dene to share information with one another and to be able to get a lot of this information down. And I share with you, and these are the things that we learn and these are the things we understand by listening. And these are the things that we are told. Hey, thanks for watching our videos. If you like what you see, don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss one of our uploads. Also, head over to our website, NavajoTraditionalTeachings.com. Sign up for our email list. I can't.